Hello and welcome to the Daily Millwall for Monday the 8th of February 2021. Today we have news that Danny McNamara has signed a new contract. It says here, this is from millwallfc.co.uk, it says Danny McNamara signs a long-term contract. Danny is here to stay. And what do they say? 2,000 views on that. It says Millwall Football Club is delighted to announce that Danny McNamara has put pen to paper on the long-term contract at the Den. The 22-year-old has made seven senior appearances for the Lions since returning from a fruitful loan spell at Scottish Premier League side St Johnston, making his debut in January's 2-0 Emirates FA Cup third round victory at Boreham Wood. And he will now play his football in SC16 for the foreseeable future. McNamara became the fourth academy product to feature in the first team in 2021 following the footsteps of Ben Thompson, Hayden Muller and Tyler Burry. So as you can see they, they've started doing this, they haven't announced how many years it is so I would assume that it's at least three years um, and I would also say to you if you're watching this, isn't it funny that um, he gets dropped in the game against Sheffield Wednesday and then he signs a new contract isn't that a bit funny? Do you think maybe that he, the reason why he got dropped was a little bit of a power play? Because I assume his contract was running out at the end of the season. So maybe Rat Routers or someone, someone said, well, well, we need to get our team sorted for the future and you haven't signed your contract yet. So and it was, it was he, he got offered it a few um, like a month ago, and they actually put it out that like he was offered a contract. That was they actually put it on the on the website like news. It was a news item on the Mill uh, official website, millfc.co.uk. But then he didn't sign it right, right away. And that's a bit isn't it a bit weird that he gets dropped and then he signs a contract. Because there is rumours, I don't know if these are true, that um, the reason why Matt Smith isn't playing because there are bonuses in his contract that if he plays, and I think if he scores, that Mill will have to carve out a wedge of money and give it to him. So, hmm, maybe, maybe the reason why he was dropped on Shuffle Wednesday is... Uh, just to put pressure on him to sign a contract. But now, what's going to happen in the next game? Is Romeo come on? He he was he was all he wasn't just him, but he was awful in the first half, along with another um, other players. But then he come back in the second half, played well, scored that goal, and he had the most touches in the game. If you watched the video yesterday, that Sunday, a video you'll see that. So he's he's putting a shift in now. So. He, now Danny's signed the contract, they're just going to put him straight back in. Can't really do that. So now what? Do they wait for Romeo to mess up? Maybe uh, be the reason we can see the goal and then they'll slip in again? Or in a couple of weeks we got a couple of midweek games, so maybe they switch him back out again. Mm, I don't know, but it's a bit weird. Anyway, let's see what um, uh, Danny has to say about it. This is McNamara praises academy staff for Mill breakthrough. It says Danny McNamara signed a new long-term contract at Mill last weekend and quickly moved to Lord the club's academy setup after putting pen to paper. The right back who has excelled in loan spells at Newport County and St Johnston in recent memory is a product of the Lions youth system. Having risen above the ranks before making his first team debut in uh, January's Emirates FA Cup success at Bourne Wood, alongside the now experienced Ben Thompson, the likes of Billy Mitchell, Hayden Burry, and Tyler Burry. Aidan Muller and Tyra Burry sorry, have been promoted from the academy to make senior appearances. With the under-23s and under-18s currently defending their professional development league title wins in 2019-20, the development of young talent in SC16 is going from strength to strength. I'm really happy McMurray told MillFC.co.uk. When discussing his new contract, it's something that has been in the pipeline for about a month now, so I'm buzzing to get it sorted. Being a Millwall boy, as are all my family, it means the world. Hopefully I'm doing them proud. Larry McAvoy and Chris Perry were class with me when I was younger. They developed me and gave me chances and opportunities. I feel as though I've taken them and I'm proved that I can play. McNamara was frustrating to the limelight 
following his sterling debut at Meadow Park, playing in the next six fixtures, including a Skybet Championship debut at High Flying uh, and former Premier League outfit AFC Bournemouth. I didn't realise my debut was going to come around so soon after returning from loan, but I was over the moon. It was down to me to show that I could be trusted, and I feel as though I did that. Within three days, I was in the game against Bournemouth, and I think that shows the gaffer can trust me and vice versa. So it's been an all-round positive start, and I hope I can continue that for the rest of the season. So there you go. He's he's happy at uh, signing signing the deal, and we're happy at signing him signing the deal, and I'm happy at him signing the deal. Uh, moving on now. This is news at den. Co. Uk. Every week they do a a loan watch. They round up all the um, how the the loan players got on. Um, bit of bad news. Isaac Olofi, um got injured. He, he literally in the first minute of the game he got injured, and he got subbed off after five minutes. So let's have a read of that. It says that Isaac Olofi could be set for a spell on the sidelines after limping off in Sutton United's one nil FA truck. FA Trophy defeat at home to Woking on Saturday. Oli Office um, suffered an ankle injury just 30 seconds into the game and was forced off after 5 minutes. Oli Offi, 21, has scored 6 goals in 16 league goal, uh, go games for the National League side this season. In National League South, defender uh, Rob Strachan played the full game for Welling United in their 2-2 draw at top of the table, Dartford. Welling are bottom of the table with 9 points from 12 games. Uh, in the Scot Scottish Premiership, James Brown was an un unused substitute as Callum Davidson and Johnson defeated Livingston 2-1. Brown made his debut in Saints 1-0 league defeat against Rangers last weekend. St Johnson, who are 8th in the table, play 5th place Livingston in the League Cup final on February 28. So, he's got the roundup from the uh, lone players who played. So that's the meal news for today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.